Thank you so much for attending the 30th annual Pacific Northwest Nationals. What a fantastic weekend. Couldn't have had any better weather. We set a I'm record in car count, over 3,000 cars. So All give yourselves right. a big round Woo! of applause. Let's start them up, Betsy. Let's get ready to go. So first up is our 2017 Muscle Car of the Year finalist sponsored by MSD. It's Phil Mitchell from right here in Puyallup. A very rare 1968 Yanko Camaro. 427 engine, four speed power brakes, factory vinyl top, rare, rare Pontiac wheels on there, fiberglass hood that I think you'll only see on six muscle cars of this year. Phil Mitchell, good guys, Muscle Car of the Year finalist. Woo! Listen to that motor. All right, next up is our builder's choice, and of course it's selected by Art Morrison and his son Craig. So give them a big round of applause for doing our top 10. This is Ron Mayer from Hillsboro, Oregon, 57 Chevy, highly customized Nomad. Those of you that own 57 Nomads, you look at every panel in here and you can see all the major uh, fabrication that was done. This has got an LL7 427 with the 4L Lady E, so headers and stainless steel exhaust, Magnaflow, uh, House of Colors, two inch roof chop, handmade grill, ladies and gentlemen, widened dash pad and instrumentation, cluster, rear hatch one, one piece, electric windows. It just goes on and on and on. That vibrant candy paint is just stunningly beautiful. How about it for him? That's also our 2017 Custom of the Year, so it's a top 12 winner for good guys That's right. this year. Next up, Art Morrison Builder's Choice Award. It's Greg Meyer from Tigard, Oregon. 1933 Chevy Roadster LS6 Power. It's got uh, billet specialty wheels, classic instrument gauges, um, all steel hood, tons of work done on this. A&M built this one as well, the first two cars through. Greg Meyer, congratulations. Art Morrison, Builder's Choice. Another beauty right here. This is Buddy Jordan out of Texas, the Lone Star State, and a 35 Roadster, highly customized. Built by Steve's Auto Restorations, hand-built, all aluminum body, folks. One-off machine wheels. One-off headlights, limited edition aluminum 427, machine steering wheel. I mean, it just goes on and on. Of course, it's got leather upholstery. This is, was the 2017 Detroit Autorama Riddler winner. So this is a serious machine right here. Built by Steve's Auto Restorations out of Oregon. Outstanding build. Next up, Art Morrison Builder's Choice. Bruce Levin from right here in Auburn, Washington. 1951 Ford. It's got a 368 Lincoln, it's sectioned, it's riding on AME chassis, uh, custom underneath fab work, independent rear suspension. This was a Good Guys Gold Award winner at SEMA. It's also a finalist for our Custom Rod of the Year this year. Big round of applause for Bruce Levin. Another Builder's Choice Award recipient, John and Sheila Amacio from... Uh, is it Chatteroy, Washington, 56 Chevy Nomad, beautiful white color. Another aluminum, this is a 409 cubic inch big block. Morrison chassis, of course, billet 20s in the rear and 18s up front, Pirelli tires. Um, you're right, paint, Dakota gauges, kicker sound, and all the goodies. Sits right, the white with the red interior looks beautiful. Another finalist for Custom Rod of the Year. So we got a 56 and a 57 Nomad. That's Coming right. up next is Ty Rio, Scottsdale, Arizona, 1966 Lincoln. This is bad. This is mean. Sits right, looks right, suede, black tires, wheels, Willwood brakes, Dakota digital gauges, Magnus, Magnaflow exhaust, um, Vintage Air AC, 9-inch rear, built by Divers Street Rods. Tim's in there just having a good time. Wave to the crowd, Tim. Congratulations, Ty Rio. Builder's Choice Award from Art Morrison. Apparently when you have your car all blacked out like that, they're uh, coining the phrase murder. It's murdering the car out. That's, I just heard that. Pat and Marsha Thomas from uh, Montana, Dillon, Montana, in an ever so beautiful chop deuce five window coupe, all steel, full fettered, chop two and a quarter inches, hood stretch two and a half inches, red leather upholstery, it's got a 351 Roush engine in it, 18 inch wheels up in the back, 17s up front, built by Kenny's Rod Shop. Really nice, nice deuce five window. Very nice. 
Okay, next up, Art Morrison, Builder's Choice Award, Dave Sittower from Edmonds, Washington, 37 Nash. When's the last time you saw a 37 Nash look this good, sit this right? 355 Chevy, DuPont Chrome, classic instrument gauges, Art Morrison chassis, uh, of course, air conditioning, Budnick, one-off wheels, Dave Sittower, Art Morrison, Builder's Choice Award. Coming up next is a pickup truck that's caught my eye all weekend long. Builder's Choice Award recipient Rod and Louis Beard from, is it Col Colvin, Oregon, 48 Chevy pickup. Now this thing's been chopped. It's been channeled over the frame rails. The fenders have been raised up. Lots of extensive body mods to create this traditional period correct custom. 327 V8, four and a half inch chop. Bed raised three inches. Fenders rolled under. Uh, it's got uh, 56 Chevy headlights, just uh, Smitty mufflers, all the traditional stuff, red and white tuck and roll interior, white walls, all the traditional pinstriping. I love the pinstriping in the door jams as well. Check out this beauty coming up. Another Art Morrison Builder's Choice. Don and Irene Richardson from Hopewell, Washington, 1938 Ford, but it's disguised with 37 front sheet metal done on it. 350 Ram Jet, full independent suspension, custom mix PPG, by interior by Ron Mangus. Uh, owned 24 years, it says here, and it's owner built. Big round of applause for Don. Art Morrison, Builder's Choice. Art, we want to thank you very much. Uh, we have something thank special you. for you that we want to give you, Art, a little paperweight yes. for your desk and your office from Good Guys. Thank you very much, sir. We appreciate it, everything folks? you do for us. Give Art a big round of applause, folks. Very nice. Coming up next, Steal the Show Award. Nice little 64 C10 short bed pickup. I just sold one of these. This is Chris Church from Oregon City, Oregon. Uh, it's got an LS3 engine. 4L65E Trans, right tick suspension, Willwood brakes, not Wildwood, right Mike? PPG, Bookswood green paint, low car pedals, Dakota Digital Dash, BFGs, wheel Ventique wheels, just sits mean and nasty, sounds great as well. Nice pickup. Next up is our GTO pick, it's Jim Pyrie, I hope I'm saying that right, from Tacoma, Washington, 64 Pontiac GTO Go, 389 Pontiac Power, Tri-power, four-speed, power brakes, power steering, uh, red line tires. It's got the Krager SS wheels, console cars, all stock, beautiful build. GTO pick, Jim Pyrie from Red Tacoma, on Red. Washington. Another Rotter's rep pick. This is Tim and Pam Borrell from Covington, Washington. It's a 1938 Olds two-door sedan, something you don't see every day. And look how vibrant that paint is. Um, it's got a uh, 400 Chevy V8, turbo 400 trans, suicide two doors, got the red and white interior, got the gal riding shotgun, she's grinning from ear to ear, they're happy, they're looking good, got the visor on it, sounds great too. Looks good. Next up, One Fine Deuce, sponsored by oh, Low Car. Nice. It's uh, Jared and Leanne Moreno from right here in Gallup, Washington. 1932 Ford Roadster, PPG paint, Stuart Warner gauges, low car shifter and pedals, black interior, Firestone tires, 350. It's traditional. It looks right. Period. Correct, uh, DJ? Would you That's say that? That's right. And look at the look at the guy, the kid's hat, dude. Dude. Come on, dude. What's going on, dude? Give a thumbs Jared up, dude. Jared and Leanne and the family. Congratulations. One fine deuce. That's right, American Thunder Award coming up next, sponsored by Flowmaster. This is Patrick Urick from Kilowan, British Columbia, in a 1972 Pontiac Trans Am. It's got an LS3 engine, Tremec six-speed transmission, right tech suspension, Flowmaster mufflers, heavy blue, dark navy blue, I'd call it, metallic paint, black interior, Michelin Pilot tires. Sounds great. All right, next up, special award here, Home Built Heaven, sponsored by Speedway Motors. It's Ray Digby, and quick story on Ray. He was leaving our event a couple years ago, had an unfortunate accident. Everybody came out fine, but uh, this little roadster was beat up pretty bad. He took it, he rebuilt it, he made a few changes. Give him a big round of applause for That's doing right. all the work himself. He's back on the road again, TCI frame, PPG paint, low car shifter, 350 power. A beautiful Model A Sport Coupe, Ray Digby, home-built heaven. 
Winning the Ford Truck Pick, sponsored by LMC Trucks. This is Dan and Debbie Bird from uh, LaConnor, Washington. One of my favorites of all the pickups. 56 Ford Pickup, but not only that, this is the back, big back window option, which I love so much. This is the uh, 406 stock 32 valve engine, vintage air conditioning, torch red paint, low car shifter, BFGs on the tires, butt nick wheels, interior by Gabe's, air ride suspension, Custom rear torsion bars. What a nice looking F100. Beautiful. Next up, our restored award. It's Bob and Jeannie Mosier from Tacoma, Washington. 1940 four door sedan deluxe, flathead six, three speed tranny. This car cost originally $965, brand new. Top speed, 85 miles an hour. It's a cruiser. They've got 34,000 miles on this. Yeah. Big a round of applause for that. Bob and Jeannie Moser Restored Award. Look, it's got the World War II ration, uh, gas ration C sticker on the side window. Really awesome. Mighty Mustang coming up next. John Ortiz from Kent, Washington. This is a 69 Ford Mustang. Mach 1 to be exact. Dual quad 351 engine. Six speed trans. That'll get you to work on time. Stock body black jack paint. Factory 8-track player, disc brakes, polished intake, Shelby Cobra wheels, owner built, Mighty Mustang. You hear that a lot here, a lot of owner built cars here That's in right. the Pacific Northwest. Next up is our 40 Fords Forever. We love 40 Fords. We picked this one. Ted and Judy Coons from Longview, Washington, 1944 Ford sedan. Turbo 359-inch uh, rear, classic gauges, PPG paint. He's owned the car for 10 years and he drives it everywhere. This car never sees a trailer. Ted and Judy Coons, 40 Fords forever. Innovation Award brought to you by Snap-on. This is Neil, I'm gonna screw up his last name. Sir Machisi from Port Alberni, British Columbia. Looks like the stuff we were building years ago. 31 Ford Roadster, this has got a 392 Hemi. M21 four speed trans, this is on deuce rails, fabricated interior firestone tires socal gauges steel wheels custom shocks next up is our chevy truck pick sponsored by lmc truck it's jacob lusk from tacoma washington 1958 chevy apache 348 uh, with 440 cubic inch engine art morrison chassis t56 tranny tanner brown leather interior Diamondback tires, stock wheels and caps, and again, another home-built truck. Jacob Lusk, Chevy truck pick. Congratulations. Salt Lake City Mike is drilling over that truck, huh, Mike? Trick Truck Corral pick coming up next. Marsh Burns from, uh, looks like it says Trentdale, Oregon. This is a 29 Ford custom AA series pickup truck. Dual carbs, 401 Buick. That's a nail head engine, isn't it? Yeah, Auto Trans. Dual Jaguar rear ends, tilt bed. He's got dual everything. It's got a uh, newer version of an Indian out back, chopped rag top, dolphin gauges, custom headers, custom wire wheels, and all the goodies. He was cruising this thing around all weekend, just all having weekend. a blast. Just having a blast. Next up, our awesome olds pick. It's Bruce Baden from Vancouver, Washington. 1950 olds, 303 olds motor. He's cruising up here, slow and low. Louvered hood, chop top, caddy hubcaps, white pleat interior, pinstripe dash. He's got all the goodies, fender skirts, blue dot tail lights. He's owned it 20 years, has a ton of fun with it. Bruce Vaden, awesome old. Nice custom. Coming up next, one of my personal favorites of the entire weekend, winning the Mopar Muscle Pick. This is Bob. Leenstra from Kent, Washington. Folks, this is a one of one, believe it or not. The original owner of this car ordered this color from the factory. And it's only one of these made. 426 dual quad Hemi, pistol grip, four speed. It's got the Dana rear end, 354 gears. The uh, steely wheels, dog dish hubcaps, red line tires, fully, fully restored 1968 Dodge Super B. Wow. Beautiful car. Here comes some more muscle for you. Ford muscle pick. It's Jeff Estabrook from Maple Valley, Washington. 1974 Torino GT 429 Super Cobra Jet. Four speed, disc brakes, California emission car. It's got the drag pack, Magnum 500 wheels, 
Very nice. Jeff Estabrook. Ford Muscle. Gorgeous car. Coming up next, Mighty Muscle Award. Shaking the ground here, folks. 1970 Chevy Nova SS with a 540 cubic inch Chevy balloon. Big block engine, I might add. Dual poly carbs, world racing wheels, NOS injection, roll cage, uh, Willwood disc brakes, rear wing, and he's ready to go. All right, next up is our Way Cool Wagon Award. Larry and Deborah Predmore from Odin, Washington, 1950 Plymouth Suburban. PPG paint, he's pulling the teardrop trailer behind it, Weber carbs, Clifford intake, 904 auto trans, fat man front clip gets it down. Uh, it's got an eight inch Ford rear end tilt column. Looks like they have a ton of fun driving this wagon everywhere. Way Cool Wagon, Larry and Deborah more. That's an awesome pair right there. McGuire's Magnificent Masterpiece coming up. It's a 72 Blazer owned by Rick Severson from Vancouver, Washington. It's got a big block 454 engine, turbo 400 trans, air ride, orange pearl paint. How vibrant is that? Black and orange houndstooth interior, coil wheels, billet grill, billet hood hinges, custom hood. Blazers are making a comeback too. Hottest hot rod coming up, it's Brian and Valerie Flitch from East Olympia, Washington, 1932 Ford Roadster Brookville body, ZZ430 engine, five-speed Tremec, SoCal gauges, black and white tuck and roll, SoCal windshield, steel wheels, curry rear end, very cool traditional hot rod, owned it three years. Brian, doesn't look like Valerie in the seat, but we'll go with it. Flitch, hottest hot rod. Valerie has grown a beard. Deuce Doings coming up next. Shelly and Tim Williams from uh, Delroy, Canada, Alberta. 32 five window coupe, my all time favorite of the Deuces. Uh, 350 Chevy, Tri Power. Um, this is a real Henry Ford body. Awesome. Four wheel disc brakes, chop top, quick change rear, Pontiac taillights, probably uh, 49 or 50 taillights, I'm sure. Vintage Air, owner built three years ago, and they have put over 50 thousand miles on wow. this car. How about it, Barb? Come yeah. on, let him know. And speaking of driving them, we got You Gotta Drive Them coming up, sponsored by Sprayway. This is Don, excuse me, Dan and Linda McHugh from Santa Barbara, California. Nice. They drove it 1,086 miles to get here, 1944 Coupe, 327 small block, vintage air, so they got a little creature comfort on their long drive, low car shifter, brown interior, PPG paint. You gotta drive them, we're all about it, you're all about it, congratulations. Dan and Linda McHugh. Coming up next, Good Guys Real Hot Rod Award, Scott Holly from uh, Burlingame, California. Yeah, 33 drive Ford from Roadster. The you guys are yes. driving your cars. Did I say that city right? You did. Berlin okay. game is right. And Lydia, hold that award up. It's a drilled axle. That's what we give our hot rod, on, real folks. hot rod award. Got an LS3 engine, 4L65 trans, Brizio chassis, dropped drilled chrome axle and suspension, Excelsior tires, quick change rear end, drove 1,500 miles, round trip. And they're probably hitting the road right now. They're probably going to hit the highway. Hit the road, safe. Jack. We'll see you back in California. Next up is our cool Camaro. It's James Nicholas from Bellevue, Washington, 1968 Camaro, LS3 power. It says all original chrome trim, black interior, uh, mob wheels on it, all original steel panels on the car, bench seat, Goodyear tires. Owner has had this car since he was 17. Restored it in 2007. Cool Camaro pick. Congratulations, James Nichols. Rodgers rep pick coming up next. This is Rob Gilliam from uh, FW Washington. 33 Pontiac three window coupe. That is something you do not see, folks. It's uh, body's all stock. It's got the centerline wheels. This is all full fendered. Body is uh, untouched. Black paint. And they look very, very happy. I don't know what it's powered by, but uh, stock original engine, straight eight it says. Oh, nice. 
Next up, best ride on billet specialties, and really they just got to have billet specialty wheels, but we like this one. Um, it's Greg Miller, 1951 Ford Woody Wagon. It's got a Roush 5.0 engine, automatic tranny, uh, one-piece side glass. It looks like tan leather, bare brakes, obviously billet specialties. Greg Miller, best ride on billet. Yep. Suede and chrome coming up next. I wonder who picked this. Coming up from Puyallup, Washington, all the way from Puyallup. This is a 3031 Model A coupe. It's been chopped, it's been uh, channeled over the frame rails. It's got nostalgic Raider mags, big and little white walls. It's on a deuce grill. 350 Chevy engine with dual quads, 350 trans, flat green or suede paint, Pontiac taillights, got the Stuart Warner wing gauges. Real neat traditional hot rod. All right, rolling up. Man, I never saw so many 54 shoe boxes here this weekend, but here's a real nice one. Our cool custom Garland Gesso from Calgary, Alberta, Alberta, Canada. 1954 custom, 383 motor. It's got air, disc brakes, four bar rear, Mustang two front to get it down, nine inch posi rear, custom front and rear bumpers, lots of metal work done, it's shaved. It's got rounded corners, beautiful, cool, custom, garland, just so Okay, folks, this is the Hot Holler Award. I don't think I've ever even seen one of these before, and I've been doing car stuff my whole life. This is Randall Robertson from Hayda, Idaho, in a 72 Chevy K50 cab. This has got a 5.9 Cummins engine in it, 4,500 manual trans, tilt bed, 40-inch Nito tires, 4-inch uh, custom exhaust, disc brakes, it's got the transfer case one ton running gear, owner build truck, new build took three years to build. What a neat and different pickup truck. All right, next up is our coolest 50s and we got a good looking lady driving up here in her 54 Buick, Linda Scheibel from Puyallup, awesome. Washington. Awesome. 350 Chevy, shaved door, 1929 Model A Ford two door sedan. It's got uh, two Deuce carbs, coker, wide, wide, steel wheels, PPG paint, low car pedal, red interior, soft top, which is cool, cruising down the road on a sunny day. Melvin Cherry, traditional home built heaven. That also means that he built it all himself in his garage. Coming up next, look at this, ladies and gentlemen. When's the last time you've seen something like this? Class Act Award. This is uh, Henry Aras from Temecula, California, not far from where I'm from. 1935 Chrysler Airflow. It's got a Hemi engine, custom upholstery, custom paint, upholstery by Armando, as we know them, fab work, George Ness, custom frame, and uh, that body and paint is wonderful. So it's a group of guys hanging out in a garage. They built it all themselves. Congratulations on that. I mean, that thing is just outstanding. Next up, chopped and dropped. That means it's chopped and it's down in the weeds. It's we Richard go. Staff from Port Townsend, Washington, 1932 Ford, three window coupe, 327 small block, uh, four speed tranny, nine inch rear, four inch dropped axle, three inch chopped top, chrome reverse wheels on it. It says here it was uh, switched from a high boy to a fender car, owned seven years. Very nice. Richard Staff from Port Townsend, Washington.